Hey guys, welcome back to Pellets and Pits. We took that homemade Mexican chicken that we were just raving about and we made some amazing chicken enchiladas with some homemade salsa. Dang! You heard me? <laughs> That's my daughter. Here we go. He I can live with that. That's one and done, baby. Yeah, I know. One and done. She makes I it seem easy. It <laughs> he, tr he tried. He tried 10 takes on that intro, so we just had to call him the big guns. <laughs> Woo! Super excited. All right, we're continuing this theme since Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner. This recipe is going to be from leftovers of what we did when we did the smoked chicken nachos. I've repeated it several times and I cannot emphasize enough. That chicken was on point. Banging chicken. So, today is all about a green enchilada, chicken, cream cheese, quesadilla cheese. How are we going to name it? What's the name you want? Chicken... Cheese, salsa, salsa verde. verde enchiladas. Something like that. <laughs> All right. So the first things first, we get that salsa verde cranked up. We have our Lone Star pellet smoker. I haven't used it in a couple weeks. Pretty excited about that. We're going to get that open grate on it, which is what I love about pellet smokers, especially that one. I've mentioned it several times that if you're going to get a pellet smoker, the option to sear on open flame or somehow, some way, I really like that feature. So Rock and roll on that. This is what we got. We got some jalapenos, got some garlic, got an onion, and got, we got some lime, salt, cilantro, and Tommy Tio's. Uh, we're going to peel these, get some onions cut, get our uh, jalapenos prepped, get some garlic ready, and all this is going to go on the pit. We're going to fire roast it. Fire roasted salsa verde. If you guys are new to buying these green Tommy Tio's, just try to find the ones where the Skins look like paper. Go ahead and rinse these off with water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got a pretty large onion. So instead of using the whole onion, let's do about three quarter of the onion simply because of the size. So you basically want like a medium onion. All right, got my garlic peeled, just a touch of oil. Notice I made a little aluminum foil boat. We'll be able to put that on the grill as well. Not necessarily looking to temp as much. We're gonna keep opening and closing the lid, but uh, now we're opening the flame, so this stuff's gonna get a lot harder. We definitely want that black char. That's how you get that roasted effect. Uh, not too much, but you'll be able to see. No oil, no nothing. Just be able to cook all this at one time. While our tomatillas are roasting, this is what we got. All that leftover chicken and the vegetables, the fajita vegetables in there. We're gonna add that to the bowl. Along with that crispy skin. When I tell you that I am uh, on a whim today, I'm on a whim. We're just making it because we enjoy it. The, uh, the recipe for the smoked Mexican chicken is already on the website. And then this recipe will follow shortly after as soon as we get a chance. So I'm just breaking up the large pieces. Roughly four cups of chicken, about a cup of vegetables, a third cup of sour cream. To that, we are going to grate about a half of a container of quesadilla cheese. I'm sure you can put other cheeses in there like pepper jack, but we absolutely love the quesadilla cheese. Not much cilantro, just a little for color and flavor. So rough chop that. A few tablespoons after it's already cut all the way down. See that color? That's exactly what you're looking for. So you're just gonna rotate them around. Some are gonna have color, some aren't. quick tip if your cream cheese is ice cold like it was for me just throw it on that smoker off the heat for a little bit since it's so hot it doesn't take but a second for that to warm up just mix all this up incorporate all those cheeses and this is going to be our filling for our enchiladas put that lid back over the fire we dropped it down to about 350 just for now you can drop it even lower if you wanted to 
Now we're gonna make the enchiladas and we'll put it back on the smoker to melt the cheese and get a little of that smoke flavor on top. Just using a griddle, you can use your stove at home. You can use actually your grill if you wanted to. Just warm up the tortillas and make them pliable. And it's as easy as what you think it would be. Just take some filling and roll it up. Kind of push it back tight. I like corn, she likes flour. So we kind of make a mix of both. As we always say, make whatever you want to make. All right, just taking the spicy stuff out of the jalapeno. My wife's a little allergic to heat. <laughs> to a blender, all these ingredients go. The dang garlic smells fantastic. The little charred bits. Mm. Even some of that oil left over from the garlic. Put that in there, that's flavor. The juice of one lime. A little cilantro. Nice pinch of salt. If you like it chunky, keep it chunky. If you like it smooth, blend it smooth. All right, our sauce is done. We've got everything rolled up. I'm just gonna come back in here and add as much as you like. I like to leave little gaps in there. I like the little crustiness of the uh, tortilla. Maybe have a little extra for some dippage, a little chip action. The other half of the quesadilla cheese. And on the smoker it goes until it's nice and bubbly. Hey guys, welcome to Peloton Pits. Hey, we took that leftover chicken. Hey guys, welcome to Peloton Pits. I'm Neil. Hey, we took that chicken. Hey guys, welcome to Peloton Pits. Hey, we took that leftover smoked Mexican chicken that we've been re Hey guys, welcome to Peloton Pits. Hey, we took some leftover that. Hey guys, welcome to Peloton Pits. Hey, we took some of that leftover smoked Mexican chicken that we've been raving about and we made a homemade fire roasted salsa verde enchiladas, chicken enchiladas. Oh, Roddy, 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 Roddy. Probably cooled down a little bit longer than what I was expecting. Had to go to school, pick up. The kiddos, that's part of it. I don't know if you necessarily need a little bit more sauce. Sour cream. You got the quesadilla cheese, the sour cream inside of it. Jeez, you'll like it. You will absolutely like it. That sauce. Mm -hmm. Some of the tortilla got a little mm -hmm. crispy. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't like covering the tortilla all the way. Mm -hmm. I like the little crispy edges like that right there. That's money. Golly, that's, yeah, that's, that's good. That's stinking good. <laughs> oh yeah. That's good. Let's try a flour one. Our flour tortillas are low carb, so. You want extra sauce? Probably. Well, let's just try it like that. Here, you try it. Mm. This is good or mm. just different? Better? Mm. They're both good. Creamy. Look at all that cream in there. Put a little sauce on it. That's good. Oh, we're done. <laughs> we're going to eat the rest eat inside. <laughs> I was just Golly, gonna, that's good, baby. Was, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I was just going to say that, you know, I'm not a big leftover fan. 
I love the idea, however, of taking leftover something and making something else out of it. The biggest example I can give you is something like this, where we smoke the Mexican chicken. For the idea of chicken pita nachos, we end up making something like this. The other option is when we make spaghetti at home, gringo style spaghetti, right? Ground beef, sauce, noodles, just keeping it simple. I like to take over the, the I like to take the leftovers and then I'll add a little uh, ricotta, um, fresh mozzarella, uh, mix all that together with some garlic and then make like a spaghetti bake, but based on the idea of lasagna. So it's not the fact I don't like leftovers. I just don't like eating the same thing twice. I like to make something out of it. Anyways, there you go. That's using your smoker more than just ribs, chicken, and brisket. And we promise you that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. That's those a, are, that doesn't even taste like super, leftovers. super, super good. Yeah. The, the chicken and cream cheese filling. Yeah. Is amazing. I think you're worried about that salsa being too bright, too like too pungent. Tangy. Yeah. But it, it with, calms it down. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Almost like you know what you're doing. That's my girl. <laughs>